For the skin prep, I'm going to start by cleaning the skin. And I'll be using this simple micellar water. I don't need too much, so I'll just put a small amount of the micellar water on a cotton pad with wipes and use it to gently clean the skin. I like using a micellar water because it's good for all skin types and also as a makeup artist getting one product that can work well for everybody is very cost effective meanwhile for people that are learning this for themselves you can get any cleanser you want you can get any good cleanser you want you can get a cleanser that works specifically for your skin type i think that one is even better but as a makeup artist you cannot buy everything for everybody Cleaning will help eliminate all the oil, dirt and impurities from the skin and leave you with a very clean and smooth skin for your makeup to lay on. So always make sure that you clean the skin very well and after cleaning you let it dry before you go in with your moisturizer. Now the skin is clean and dry and I'll be using this moisturizer by Cetaphil. It's a lightweight moisturizer which means that it is not too heavy, it is not too thick and it works well for all skin types. So I'm just going to gently massage it into the skin. One question people ask me a lot is do they need to moisturize an oily skin? The answer is yes. Even an oily skin needs moisture to stay healthy. But you have to use a lightweight moisturizer like the one I'm using now so that you not go and worsen the, the you don't go and worsen the, the, the situation or you so that you not go and make it to be too oily. And after moisturizing, you let it dry and then you go in with your primer. There's one thing about skin prep, you have to let everything dry. So when you clean, you let it dry. When you moisturize, you let it dry. Even after priming, you still have to let it dry before you go in with the next product. So now the skin is ready for the primer. And for her skin type, we're, we're going to be using a mattifying primer and we're also going to be using a hydrating primer. I'm sure you can already guess the skin type. So right now, I'm going to be applying this uh, Super Stay Matte Primer on her T-zone area. As you already know, this primer will help absorb moisture from the skin. So massage it properly into the skin and let it dry. The T-zone area is the forehead, the, the nose, around the nose, above the lip, above the upper lip and around the chin. That's the T-zone area of the face. So that's where I'm going to be applying this mattifying primer. So I'm just going to massage it into the skin. And as you already know, this primer will help absorb moisture from the skin throughout the day. So massage it probably properly into the skin and then you let it dry. Once it's dry, you can go right in with your hydrating primer and I'm using this primer by Maybelline. It's a very nice primer. I like how hydrating it is. This primer is very nice. And with the hydrating primer, you have to apply it on the other parts of the face where you do not apply the mattifying primer. But most times, I like to apply a small amount of the hydrating primer on the... But most times, I like to apply a small amount of the hydrating primer on the, on the places or on the areas where I apply the, mat, uh, the mattifying primer. That's because it's going to help me or it's going to make it easy for me to blend the foundation. So like they say, makeup is a creative practice and there are no rules to makeup. But you have to understand why things are being done the way they are done so that you can know, so that you'll be able to modify them. And after applying the primer, you let it dry before you go in with your foundation. Right now, I'm just checking if the if the if the face is dry or if the skin has properly absorbed the primer, so that I can apply my foundation. And as you can see, the the prime you can see the effect of the skin prep on the skin. Look at how the skin is already glowing, right? If you if you do this type of skin prep, there's no way your your makeup will not blend. There's no way your makeup will not blend well. There's no way your foundation will not blend well. So that's it for skin prep.